Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Recently, we've been getting emails inquiring about the kind of grip and lighting equipment that we use in our videos. So we're taking this opportunity in this video to go over that equipment. Let's begin with our lighting. And here's the lighting we've been using in our early videos. An inexpensive $7 clamp light. And the purpose was is to show you could take creative shots without spending a lot of money on lighting. And in this light, we've used a regular incandescent bulb from 75 to 150 watts. We've used a clear bulb at 150 watts. And we've even used an outdoor spotlight at 90 watts. So in an attempt to keep it fun and creative, we also wanted to keep it inexpensive. Now let's look at what we use for diffusion. So this is what we've been using for diffusion. It's a vellum roll, also called tissue paper, in a 16 pound weight, which diffuses the light beautifully. It comes up to 52 inches wide in, in different lengths of roll. I recommend it highly. You can cut it uh, to, for special effects or you can double it to make the light even softer. So we recommend this. Give it a try. Now let's move on to our grip equipment. Well this is a piece of grip equipment that we use in most of our videos that holds up just about anything that we need to have held up. It's called a Hollywood head. Fits almost on any stand and you buy an arm it slides right into it. These arms come in varying lengths and they can continue to hook onto each other up to infinity. So it's a great way to uh, hold just about anything up that you need held up. And here's a couple more things you'll see us using often when we're doing our videos. The first one is an A clamp. Simply called that because of its shape of an A. They come in many sizes. Uh, you can get these at any good hardware store. They come even larger than this if you have to hold up something very heavy. In our case, we're usually holding up something like this, which is a foam core board, black on one side, white on the other. We use the white for bouncing light, we use the black for possibly blocking light, whatever we need it for. But it's a very simple setup. You have your light stand, and you have your A clamp, and that's what you get when you put it all together. Very simple and very useful. And here's a homemade piece of equipment that we use to hold up some cards and lights, called a can stand. What it is, is it's an old stand that legs were broken on, and so what we decided to do was get a coffee can, fill it halfway up with something heavy like nuts and bolts, and then finish it off with some concrete. And what this does is it comes in very handy when you have a lot of lights on a set, all the legs sort of get intertwined and whatnot. And this you can sort of sneak in if you've got to hold up an extra card or another light or something like that without that happening. So it's a very handy tool, easy to make yourself, and we call it a can stand. And you're going to need a few of these, probably four or five. Uh, it's your typical light stand. They fold up nice and flat like this for transportation. And then the legs come out and the end telescopes to reach any height uh, that you desire. Uh, this one goes to about seven feet. I would recommend this type of size for the kind of work we're doing right now. And there you have it, our typical light stand. So here you can see all the components together. We have our tissue on the arm, our A clamp holding the tissue, our Hollywood head holding the arm, and it's very, very adjustable, and our arm and Hollywood head on the stand. Again, another very adjustable situation. So you have our basic setup to hold up our tissue and vellum and often cards and other things as well. Well, the last piece of equipment we're going to look at is not even photographic equipment at all. It's called a frog. It's a, it's a floral supply item where you use this at the bottom of the vase to hold flowers up to make the arrangement. Of course, what we use it for is to hold up black or white cards on a set where we need to bounce some light in or block some light from an area. It's a very, very great way to do it. It's a handy tool. It'll hold a much bigger card than this. They come in different sizes and weights, and you get them at your floral supply store. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed this video on the few simple tools that we use. We try to keep it affordable, creative, and fun. If you have any questions, please ask us on our website. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.